idx.chat is the number one live chat for idx broker it's a service that we offer for free as a realty candy client and today i want to show you some updates we've made on the site so first of all we have a brand new look of our landing page and this is what would show up for you if you go to idx.chat it's much more modern and has all of the information about the platform. If you click on register, it will take you to a form for you to fill out. If you already have an IDX broker account and you add in your email and API key, it will sign you up to either premium for free or light for free. For premium for free, you have to switch to be our partner. Everything stays the same, but you become our client. And light for free, you have limited options, but you don't have to switch over to us. So let's log into the platform and let me show you the new changes that we have. So this is the regular dashboard where all of the chats go in and it says Realty Candy because I'm using our demo account, our realtycandy.idxbroker.com account. And this is where I'll be demoing the features. So the second thing that changed about IDX chat besides the look of it is we have more functionalities for agents. In a video I made some time ago, I mentioned that we were working on some of these and they're here. We're very excited to show them to you. Um, so you're now able to delete agents that you have here. So if you activate an agent and then you decide you want to delete them from IDX chat, you can do so here. Activating them just requires for you to set a password for the agent account. Um, you're also able to edit the agent and it, it would ask you for a phone number in an agent page, which I will later explain. Let me activate this agent to show you some of these features. So I'm going to make the password be one, two, three, four. Obviously, this is a demo account. This is not a real password. Don't use this password when you're creating your agent's account. Just use a password that you and your agent are aware of. So we've just activated Louisa Ann as an agent, and I'm going to be editing um, their information. So you're able to add a phone number so that this agent gets SMS alerts when there is a chat assigned to the agent. And you can also choose if you want this agent specifically to show up in a specific page. So first I'm going to be showing you the agent page functionality. So this is the Realty County page. When I click on this chat, it's going to be showing Alice agent as default. This is because we made a priority list and Alice agent is the number one hypothetically. And I'm going to be explaining this later as well. So imagine that I want an agent to appear on this page and I want to assign that agent. So I don't want that to be linked to any priority list. I will grab this URL and I will go to Louisa Ann and I will add this URL for the agent and I will click on save. So let me go back and refresh this page. And now Louisa Ann is showing as the agent. So if somebody signs in here and starts sending chats, um, they will be going to Louisa Ann. Um, moving on to phone number, I can add in a phone number for this agent. In this case, I only have access to the company phone number. So I'm going to be adding the same phone number. And since I'm going to be adding it to this agent, we should get two text messages. Um, the phone number I will be adding is this one, the one that is on the general account. And let me go back to the agent and for Louisa Ann, I will add in that phone number and click on save. So let me test that by, let me refresh the page first. And let me add in an email and just say, hi, can you help me out? This is just a test so that we see if we get a text message. And there it is. We just got a notification that says new chat from Sophia test. Hi, can you help me out? And here's the second message. Hi, can you help me out? This is because it sends a text message to the main phone number and to the agent phone number. And since we added the same one, it's sending twice. So this way we know it's working. And it also um, sends over a notification in IDX chat. This is where the agent or any person would be responding. So let me go back to the agents. So these are two other functionalities that we added in. And we also added in a routing option, which was what I was talking about earlier. We have three options for you to route um, your agents. 
because it might be hard to decide who gets to respond to a chat at any given time. Um, so in this case, we had it as fixed order and we have a list over here at the bottom that says um, what is the order of the agents. As you remember, Alice agent was number one, which is why she was showing up as number one, um, but you can change the order. So if I want um, Gina to be number one, I would click on save and it modifies the order. When you add in a new agent, you have to change the order because um, that person will not be added in automatically. So in this case, it's a fixed order. So if a chat goes in, Gina will always be the first one to be contacted, then Alice agent, then Louisa Ann, then Monica Phyllis. So this order never changes. It's always going to be um, this way. Um, the next option we have is round robin, which means um, the first agent that answers is moved to the end of that list. So if Gina G. Ford answers, she's then moved to the bottom of the list for the next chat so that Alice agent has a chance of responding. And then so forward for Louisa Ann and for Monica Felis. This way, all the agents um, have a chance of answering chats. And there is not one agent that is always um, um, very busy answering chat messages. So this is round robin. And then random means out of this list, an agent is taken randomly. So every time a random agent shows up um, on the website as the person that will be answering. We really hope these features help you out um, and make you um, take advantage of IDX chat and make sure there's always somebody answering your leads messages on your site because that is the most important thing to convert these leads into clients.